shoestring here. I wanted to give everyone a good view of my solar setup so you could see what I have for my battery backup. That's on the top of my shed you're looking right there. There are three solar panels. Each solar panel will produce approximately 200 watts of power. So the entire three system is of course six, it will generate 600 watts of power. Now remember, solar panels simply turn sunlight into electrical energy. From there, that energy must be stored. So I'm gonna show you the rest of this. The electrical wire from the solar panel come down the house, the side of the shed, to a cutoff box. This cutoff box is 30 amps, as you can see right there. It's for emergencies if I need to turn it off. Goes down into the ground, where there's also a ground. Another box. This takes the wiring into the shed. Let's walk in there and take a look what we have here. All right, this is, oh, in case you wanted a look, this is what the inside of my work shed looks like. As you can see, I'm in the midst of reorganization. I am replacing a lot of my batteries with some newer ones because these are about five years old, even though they've given me no trouble. So let's look at what we have here. We have the wires from the solar panel that we talked about coming into the shed. They come in through the side here and they go into my charge controller. This is a TriStar uh, charge controller. It's a TS45. You can see the light blinking there green, which means the batteries are in float. They are fully charged and ready to be used. So the charge controller controls how much charge to go into the batteries to they make sure they don't overheat. Remember we discussed that the solar panels only produce the energy. It has to be stored somewhere. They are stored right down here in my battery bank. Take a look at them. Right there. We have eight batteries set up. Another one ready, getting ready to go in. And in the end, I'll have 18 once I get everything set back up. Okay, fully charged batteries. These are deep cycle marine batteries. They are lead. Then from there, the power goes from the batteries into the inverter. The inverter is what changes the power from DC, which is what the batteries are holding, to AC that you can use for your appliances and whatever you want to plug into it. This is an 8,500 AIMS. So it will carry about any load I need for it into the house. I have it set up where it's wired, if you can see that. It's wired from the wall where it's all the way over to another cutoff box in case there's some type of emergency again. To my automatic switch. Automatic switch because when my power goes out, I don't want to have to turn it on. The system will come on automatically. Then once again, the wires simply go down and into, under the ground into the house. So automatic switch, cut off. Inverter turns the power from DC to AC so it can be used on your appliances. You can also, in this system, plug in 110 electrical right there. And I do. As you can see, a lot of the tools I have are battery operated. They're sit and some of them are sitting right here, and I charge them on the solar, of course. That's a quick overview. Put down in the comments if you have any questions. Also, please, if you like this, put down like and subscribe. Shoestring out.